My name is Karen Seidman, and I have a studio in Paris, France, and I flew in yesterday. I wouldn't miss this. Uh, it's all right. I'm on coffee. Everything's great, and the uh, conference is great so far. I'm very happy with it. Yes. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Tell me what's been the, what's had the biggest impression on you so far? Um, being that this is the first post-pandemic conference, I find that the, uh, that the vibe and the, and the enthusiasm um, of all these instructors finally being back together and, and, and really sharing their stories and being back together and learning again, it's been a very, uh, it's been really a positive um, yeah, experience, you know, it just really makes you feel good again about coming back together and, and knowing that it's still alive, that, that everybody is still enthusiastic about what they're doing and wanting to learn and, and yeah. And Tell me about what workshop have you attended so far? Okay, so I have been to the, um, uh, the NEC workshop with Sherry Berkowitz and... What was your biggest takeaway from that? Oh my goodness, you know, I think uh, my biggest takeaway is the fact that uh, I thought I knew everything, but I don't. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just really happy that there's more that I can learn and that I can really refine my practice and, and really learn about things that I've never, never thought would be important before to help my clients with. And uh, it's, it's something that's really uh, going to change some of the exercise in my repertoire. What's the, what's the one thing that you know that you'll definitely take back and start implementing immediately with one of your clients that you heard um, in the workshop today? Well, I think what it is is that I'm going to be more, more, um, more aware of, of how, how they're moving with their, with their necks and how I can improve how they're doing the exercises from what I've learned today in the workshop, how I can actually make it more positive experience um, in, in doing and cueing certain things differently. And that is something that is not technical, that's so complicated, but in a way that is gonna help them in, in layman language, that they can understand what I'm trying to get them to do. And I think that's so the beauty of it. Yeah more intentional and just something that they can maybe go, oh, I understand what it is you said. I think I can do this. I think it's a positive thing for, for the instructor and for the clients. So I'm grateful for that. And tell me, if you, if you connected with folks that you didn't know before? Oh, tell me about your experience connecting with other people. Absolutely. I just met um, and had lunch, never knew this person before, another instructor, and we had a great conversation. and. Uh, how our practices are, we're from different parts of the world, you know, she's in New York, I'm in France, and, and you know, it's just talking about how we interact with our clients and our different, but basically, people are people, no matter what country you're in, and you know what, we're all human beings, and we're all, um, and so it's very um, refreshing, you know? And give me um, any thoughts you have about the Pilates Method Alliance well. going forward, I think, you know, I really think the PMA um, really brings cohesion. Um, and some place that instructors as, as varied all over the world that we are living in, in different countries and lifestyles, that we actually have a place that we can Gorgeous. connect to and have, um, uh, have a way of communicating and finding out about uh, what's going on in the industry and and to have a place that we can direct our questions direct our thoughts uh, You know and to really Find a place that can help us grow as in 